In other news tonight, a 55-year-old man is dead after he was hit by a car involved in a high-speed chase out in Elk Grove. Police say the driver of the car was just 13 years old, and this is the third high-speed chase involving a teen in just one week. ABC 10's Becca Hobbegger spoke with law enforcement and youth advocates about how to address this. On Monday night, Elk Grove police say a 13 year old driving a stolen vehicle led officers on a high speed chase. Police say the pursuit ended when the 13 year old crashed into another vehicle at the intersection of Laguna and Franklin Boulevards. The driver of that second vehicle died earlier Monday afternoon in an unrelated incident. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says two armed teen gang members also in a stolen vehicle led deputies on a high speed chase. Officials say the teen hit a pedestrian who suffered serious injuries but is expected to survive. The teens were arrested. And a week ago, this was the fiery end to another high speed chase involving teens. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says gang detectives tried pulling the car over for an equipment violation when the driver sped off. Officials say the two in the vehicle were 16 year olds in a gang and they had three guns with them. Nobody was hurt. Not every gang member is a bad guy. A lot of them are, you know, decent kids that are trapped, but there are some that are straight up criminals and we need to call them that. And and these guys that we've arrested over the past couple of days are straight up criminals. Now, again, is their future lost forever? Maybe not, but we need to take some hard intervention, take a hard look at what we're doing. Sergeant Amar Gandhi with the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says it's all too common for teens accused of serious crimes to get booked into juvenile detention and get out on probation just days later. He says the two accused in this chase are still locked up because investigators have now linked them to a shooting that happened earlier in the day. This was a simple vehicle stop a vehicle stop that manifested into something much more. A proposed state bill called SB 50 could prevent law enforcement officers from trying to stop drivers for low level offenses like a broken taillight. This is something Sergeant Gandhi is critical of. The more tools you take away from law enforcement, the more tools you take away from prosecutors, uh, it's again just another drop in the bucket of why we are not safe anymore. Advocates for SB 50 weren't available for an interview this day, but speaking in favor of it back in March, they said far. We know that far too often black and brown folks are pulled over. It will also free up law enforcement to do the real work that they need to do instead of this, you know, stopping folks just because of a tail light's not working. I'm seeing too many of these kids go in, come out, do the same exact thing. There has to be some level of accountability. Barry Axius runs a community-based organization called Voice of Youth, which uplifts local youth. He says teens need to know there are serious consequences for serious crimes and would like to see rehabilitation include groups like his, which offer support and structure. And we asked about the status of the bill that would ban law enforcement from pulling people over for low-level infractions. The bill sponsor says they are still working on making it a law later this year.